Hey, what's up, it's Summer. And I am coming at you today with a pink pour. It's my first time using a strainer. And I'm outside, so it's pretty loud. But I just wanted to film this because this is my first time mixing um, pouring medium with water and doing a strainer. So I figured I would at least document this so I know what not to do <laughs> if it is going to come out cute either way. But for documentation purposes. And I put silicone drops in these paints. So if anyone wants to know and we're gonna see I'm very excited I got a whole pack of strainers off of Amazon um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens I'm just trying to move this closer this way okay the consistencies on all of these are different <laughs> this is a very experimental when it kind of, the water, like the, the tiniest bit of water thins it out so much, which I'm aware of, but I still eyeballed it and kind of missed. So I just added a lot more paint and a little more um, pouring medium. So we will see. I'm gonna start with the white because that's the one I have the most of. <laughs> so, we will start with that. And I'm so excited. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's very liquidy, so. But it's okay. I love these colors. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, I love this. I love this. balancing it perfectly so thanks for watching <laughs> my process um, I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit I'm gonna wash my hands wipe them off or at least and I will get back to you guys on how it ends up looking I'm gonna leave it here probably for like an hour because that'll give it time to just sit and do what it's gonna do 
and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so this is what I'm going to do with my leftover paint. I'm just gonna put it through this little baby strainer right here and see what we get. And I'm excited. I'm gonna make sure there's no space for drainage and such. All right, here we go. I tried to make the blue a little, so what I did was the white that was super watery, I mixed it in with the blue paint that I had left over and I just made it as thick as I could. So we shall see. Look at all those cells. So yeah, this is leftover paint, so it's definitely gonna take some tilting to get the whole canvas covered. But we don't like wasting paint, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tilt this and along with the painting that's still sitting and processing, I will show you guys what the end result looks like. Alright, so this is the finished painting I love how it turned out I love the little side that looks like it's just melted onto there a lot of the times I get very like like particular about that being completely covered but I still need to clean the rest of my paint off my nails but I like how it looks with this so yes and this is the second one that I used with the remaining paint that I had for my original paint um, for the first one so yes I'm very happy with this. Definitely gonna take notes from what to do differently for next time, but all in all, it's been great.